Dada, why? Why, Dada, why? No, this why? is business. This is my swag. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! So historically, iPhones tend to be a bit faster than many of their Android counterpart thanks to Apple's tight software integration and their powerful chipset. But lately, we're seeing a change. Android chipsets have gotten really powerful. On paper, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra is faster than the A17 Pro chip on the iPhone 15 Pro Max except in single core. But how does that translate into the real world performance? Well, let's find out. I'm breaking this test into 7 rounds covering boot up times, productivity, rendering and more to determine which device emerges as the ultimate speed champion. Before we start, I want to remind you that Samsung is offering an enticing pre-order deal for the S24 Ultra. If you use my link and pre-order the phone, you'll get $150 in instant Samsung credit, a free storage upgrade up to $750 off with the enhanced trade-in deal and a 15% educational discount. This is an exclusive offer. If you're interested, the link is in the description. So starting things off with the boot up time. Unlike in laptops where startup times are important, on phones however, it's not really a big deal because it's something you rarely do on a day-to-day -day basis. Historically, iPhones have always done better in this round and the same continues this year as well. The iPhone 15 Pro Max edges out the S24 Ultra, claiming the first round victory. However, it's worth mentioning that Samsung did improve the boot up time quite significantly compared to the S23 Ultra. The second round is productivity round because phones are not just for scrolling through social apps. I'm talking Microsoft Word and Excel action here. I got this massive Excel sheet with 50,000 rows and tricky data. And guess what? The S24 Ultra loads it up faster than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Moving on to a whopping 500 page word document, things get interesting. Both phones are taking their sweet time, but surprise, surprise, both of them opened it at the exact same time. However, the S24 Ultra had that loading animation for a second long, so I'm gonna give this one to the iPhone. So I guess we're calling the productivity round a tie. Now let's talk about rendering photos and videos. We're throwing the same one minute video file on both phones and it's shot with the iPhone. First, I'm using the Filmora app here. You see, in the past, iPhones have dominated Samsung phones when it comes to rendering, especially in editing apps like Filmora. But what we're seeing here is quite surprising. The S24 Ultra absolutely destroys the 15 Pro Max in rendering the video. To see if we get a similar result if we switch the editing apps, I got the KineMaster app, rendering the video in 4K 30fps this time. Also note that the 4K 30fps video output file on the S24 Ultra is not only bigger in size but also in bitrate compared to the iPhone. So the S24 Ultra could have a disadvantage here. But surprisingly, the S24 Ultra smokes the iPhone and renders it way faster. We're talking about a 16 second difference here. Now let's talk about photo rendering. I went ahead and used Snapseed, adding a bunch of effect to this high resolution image. I applied the exact same effect on both phones and as you can see, the S24 Ultra once again takes the lead in rendering speed. So when it comes to photo and video rendering, the S24 Ultra comes out on top for this round. Moving on to the browser face-off. First on the list is the UFC's official website and both phones nail it, opening it simultaneously. Let's throw Tesla into the mix. Surprisingly, both phones again sync up perfectly in opening the web page. But here's the catch. The iPhone directs us to a different section of the website. Now onto WWE's website and to everyone's surprise, both phones pull off another simultaneous opening act. Let's keep the challenge going until one of them blinks first. Lo and behold, the S24 Ultra steals the spotlight by opening the BMW's website faster. So this round clearly goes to Samsung. Now app opening time. Starting off with the ESPN app, both phones popped it open simultaneously. The S24 Ultra jumps ahead, breezing through the store app faster. However, the iPhone quickly catches up, outpacing the S24 Ultra in opening Spotify. Now, iPhone steals a spotlight by swiftly launching Twitter and the official UFC app. Both phones sync up in opening YouTube music, and the story stays the same for Instagram, a pretty even race. So the iPhone is holding on to the lead for the time being, but here's where it gets interesting. 
The S24 Ultra flexes its speed muscles with apps like YouTube, eBay, and even the abandoned Threads app. Be it Reddit or Quora, the S24 Ultra consistently leaves the iPhone in the dust, clinching the app opening round by a solid 6 to 3. Now let's dive into the gaming showdown. We kick things off with Subway Surfer loading up faster on the S24 Ultra. Next up is Flip Diving and this time the iPhone takes the lead in speed. The Angry Birds 2 however swings back in favor of the S24 Ultra. When it comes to graphic intensive games like Asphalt 9, the iPhone comes out on top. Moving on to the heavyweight game, the Call of Duty Mobile, the S24 Ultra gains a slight edge in speed, so the gaming round also tips in favor of the S24 Ultra. Finally, we have the RAM management test. The S24 Ultra has 12 gigs of RAM, while it's 8 gigabytes on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but both phones have managed to keep all the apps open. So who's the champ of this showdown? Out of 7 rounds, the iPhone 15 Pro Max clinched only one and two ended in a tie. The S24 Ultra takes the crown as the fastest mainstream smartphone on the block, winning four rounds. To see 10 more reasons the S24 Ultra is better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, click here and I'll see you there.